Our guys' this video is going to cover Dead Rising and Defensive Alliance. They commonly get confused with one another. First video is going to be Dead Rising. It's a mess. The bigger guys want to reinforce the smaller guys. When you are reinforcing or being reinforced, either way, you can see the battle log and check your percentage. People will ask, what's your percentage? If you lose two in a row, uh, under 50%, you will be knocked out. All right. So you don't want that to happen. We don't want that to happen. Keep winning. If you start losing, ask for bigger reinforcements. You could check your reinforcements inside your sanctuary. And after you get hit every time, you want to heal your troops that are wounded. So you'll be healing constantly asking for help, and you'll be helping others heal. Make sure you don't have any gatherers gathering. You want all your troops at home, and you want, if you are a stronger player, you want to be reinforcing someone, but not with too many troops that you leave yourself defenseless either. So find a balance pick someone good to defend uh, then once some of these levels are up we need the bigger guys also to reinforce the fort the strategy there is the bigger rally goes first and then we all pile in and the higher tier units go in so most people don't have to worry too much about that. You'll know what to do if you're there. And that's pretty much it, guys. You could just sit back in between each round and try to defend. Check your battle logs, heal up, and repeat. For the defensive alliance, as we like to nickname, Whack-A-Mole, my phone was lagging last night, and I wanted to get this video up because there's really only like a trick or two to show. Uh, but the first point is all your marches are 30 seconds, so it's just how fast you can tap those zombies. They're going to spawn randomly around our hive, and the coordinates are given up top. But, you know, let's just say we're going to use player sanctuaries as a zombie. <laughs> so this is the trick. Um, other than getting through all the waves, you know, we know waves, you know, or levels one through eight are really easy. And then around nine plus it's harder and you want to be fast to tap because it's only 30 seconds. Everyone's got 30 seconds. And then when we're all sending multiple marches, you don't want to be dragging through your troop set. So as we change and progress, it, uh, those sends and and troop sets are going to change every time. So those first couple of rounds, when it's really easy, this is what I like to do. I'll send my shooters. Well, the first thing will always be edit. Sorry, that's the point of the video, is to save our new send. So edit, and I'm going to drag the bar all the way across, have it set with my strongest heroes, and I'm going to click save. And then the next send, since those troops will be out uh, so let's just do it those are my shooters boom all right so then on the next one it'll be very easy to save your next one and this is during the first couple levels super easy so I'll do my second shooter set and edit it okay I have more shooters to add to it now so I'll add that throw the rest of veterans in boom I'll save it and send so I have it saved send it to the next zombie all right then on the last one for me at least because now I'm out of shooters once I train more I'll save like a third shooter set or whatever it is for you guys and whatever heroes you throw in it's different for everybody but for me I call this one the rest so I'll I'll update it later but basically just gonna throw all the of the best units I have left and because the march time is 30 seconds, you could just throw in cars. It's not going to matter on the march. And look, it's kind of funny. This sanctuary is about 30 seconds away anyway, so it kind of looks like a good example. And that would be it for me. So then I have all three saved. 
when we clear all the waves of zombies and the big guy appears, I would just tap it and go, uh, boom, bam, you know, and then I'd tap him again and I would just go, boom, next one, send. And I would just go to the next one. And it's very fast. You don't have to be dragging the bars back and forth and sending your heroes every time. And then that's the event. I mean, that's pretty much it. It's 30 seconds. And this is the trick on how to set your troop sets every time. You want to save it during those first couple of easy rounds. And then hopefully we clear the level in time. Good luck, guys. So let's just say it's like the last round, trying to be quick, or we got it all set. Here's how fast you could be with your troops. And then you got them all send and set. They would come back in 30 seconds. And you know you're sending your full troops with the best heroes associated with it. And again, like I said, it's different for everyone. Just check the percentages, check where you're at each time and save them for the rest of the rounds. And that's really easy to send them out quick.